All right, now let's say hello to one of the greatest fighters of all time, the one and only Anderson, the Spider Silva, who returns to action this Saturday, October 31st, the Spider fighting on the first ever Halloween UFC card. How crazy is that against Uriah Hall in the main event of UFC Fight Night in Las Vegas? Anderson, how are you? I'm good, my brother. Good to see you. Thank you for space here. Thank you for opportunity. And yeah, I'm very excited to take this fight, you know, my last fight in UFC. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Well, it's it's great to see you and hear from you. Your English has come so far from the beginning of your career. You've really improved oh it my a lot. Gosh, so yes. I give you a lot of credit. It's, it's, it's better than the, 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 the beginning, huh? Oh my gosh. At the beginning, you couldn't say a word. It was incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's terrible. It's, it's it's my English continued terrible, but it's a little, little better. I love it. Um, can I ask you a question, Anderson? A lot of people have been saying this is your retirement fight, but like you just said right there, my last fight in UFC. I don't believe this is your last fight. Maybe last fight in UFC, but I don't believe this is your last fight. Set the record straight for us. Is this really your last fight period or just your last fight in UFC? Probably this is my last fight in UFC, probably. But let's go see, you know, because maybe this is the last fight and something changed. You know, let's go see the, the result. Uh, I'm, my, I'm very focused right now in this fight. And let's go to see the future, you know. But don't you have two fights left on your deal? And didn't you say you wanted to finish the deal? Yeah, absolutely. I have. But let's go see, you know, because, uh, you know, fight is fight. Maybe uh, something changed. I don't know. But this is my last fight in UFC, probably. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a part of you that believes that maybe after this fight, if you look good, if you beat Uriah, that you will continue. Yeah, this is the good question. That's the good uh, uh, answer, but a special answer for Dana, you know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to talking about this is the last or not, but yeah, you know, this is, Probably in UFC, this is the last one. Okay. Has Dana asked you to retire? Because sometimes with the fighters he loves, Chuck Liddell, Big Nog, he's asked them to retire. Has he asked you to retire? Oh, definitely not. But, you know, you know the game inside UFC better than the other people, you know. And um, let's go see. I'm, I'm very happy. You know, I'm very happy. You know how much I love this sport, how much I love UFC, and how much I give my heart and give my blood for UFC. And let's go see. You know, I'm 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 very excited and very happy. And the future is is crazy and amazing. Let's go see. So no hard feelings. No. No. Okay. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. Um, why Uriah Hall? Why him in this potential last fight? Well, first of all, because uh, this completely makes sense because my fight with Uriah is not, is not working in Brazil because I, I take the fight in Brazil for a long time ago with Uriah, but something happened to me and I take the, the surgery and now the fights come back and it completely makes sense, you know? When you started your career, if, if I would have told you you would make it to 45 and you would still be fighting, you're 45 now, would you have believed me? Like, was this always part of your plan? My brother, let me tell you something. Tell me. When I, people ask me about how much I love my sport, I say one thing. This sport is my heart, is my air, you know? I fight for my entire life. And uh, it's not about fighting, it's about martial arts. For me, I'm the, 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 the good martial art uh, artist, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, when I go inside the cage, I don't go for fight. I go to, to prove and show something special for my fans, you know? It's not about fighting, it's not about beating my opponents but show you something special for my fans. I saw on your Instagram, you had a video, you said martial arts saved my life. Changed completely my life and, and saved, saved my life too. How did it save your life? 
Wow, because, you know, I'm, I believe the martial arts give me everything I have in my life. You know, I, I do a uh, uh, different life for my kids, for my wife, because martial arts give me the, the, the whole uh, opportunity, you know, and martial arts uh, give me the more skills for continue past a lot of problems mm. in my life, you know, inside and outside the cage, inside the sport, outside the sport. And everything I have today, I have because our martial arts give me. Do you feel like people have forgotten just how good you are, the 16 in a row to start your career, the title defenses, all that stuff that you did in the early days of the UFC? Do you feel like people have forgotten just how good Anderson Silva was back when you started in the UFC? Wow. I think a lot of people don't never know about my career outside UFC because uh, everybody uh, watching UFC and watching my career when I start UFC, but I have the long career outside, you know, and uh, I fight my entire life and I train in my entire life, you know, and when I people ask me about wow, you have a 45, you're done, and what are you thinking about? So I train every day uh, with the best uh, guys in this world, you know, the best fighters. And every single day, um, I feel in how much my energy continue inside the sport. And I mean, I, I just take this fight and let's go see the future, you know, because it's a very special moment for me and for my fans and for my whole team. A lot of people today are talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov now is the greatest of all time. John Jones says, no, I'm the greatest of all time. Other people say George St. Pierre. Other people say you. In your opinion, who's your pick? Who's the greatest? You, GSP, Jones, Khabib. What do you think? The greats, the greatest all time, all time, the greats ever. Okay, the greats ever is God. This is the greatest ever. In MMA, what about MMA? In MMA, I think is don't have the best ever, the greatest the whole time. You know, because every single moment, every single time, come the new challenge, the new uh, 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 athletes. You know. Is, is for me, martial arts prove one thing. Don't have the best ever, mm. you know? And John Jones say that, it's okay, I respect. George St. Pierre, people say about George St. Pierre, it's okay, I respect. The people say that about Khabib, I respect. Uh, but, you know, for me, I'm not the best. I just try to do my best, best I can and martial arts. I just pray and put on my knees in the ground and say, thank you, God, for giving me everything, every single moment. And I'm not the best. I just try to do my best every single day. But uh, that's the, the, the big challenge, you know, because nobody is the best except the God. Do you have any regrets as far as your career is concerned? Well, Every single moment in my career is special for me, you know, but the, the, the special moment for me is my first title belt in Japan with mm. uh, um, my opponent, Hayato Sakurai. This is the best moment for me because it's my first title belt, you know, and uh, this has come every single day in my mind and help me to understand where I'm going, you know, because when I fight with Hayato Sakurai, uh, I understand how much I have a responsibility about my sport, about martial arts, and about my, my country, about my people. As far as UFC is concerned, favorite moment, which sticks out? Oh, my favorite moment? I think Rich Franklin gave my favorite moment, you know, the first fight with 
Peach Franklin. Uh, you know, every single moment when I people uh, ask me about my best moment inside UFC, I say that uh, because Rich gave me the opportunity for fight, and uh, I'm 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 the champion for UFC for a long time because Rich Franklin gave me the opportunity, and uh, I'm so happy, and I respect Rich, and um, I I. I say Rich Franklin and uh, is a great man and give him the great opportunity for fight in UFC. Something I always wanted to ask you, my, my, my favorite face-off, especially of yours, was against Vitor with the Jabberwockies mask. It was incredible. Oh, yeah. What did you guys say to each other? Do you remember when you were on the stage, you were saying a lot of things to each other. What did you say? Oh, uh, you know what? Vitor is the best fighter. He's the best uh, uh, Brazilian fighter. You know, it's a it's amazing. In a Vitor fight, uh, 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 is the first Brazilian guy win. Uh, 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 we see the completely change the sport. You know, of course, Royce is the best in in UFC. You have uh, the great story. Everybody, Brazilians, every single Brazilian guys have the opportunity to fight UFC because Royce Grace opened the door. But about Vitor, when I talk to Vitor, I just say, okay, let's go fight, you know. Tomorrow is, is the night for fight, you know. And the, about the mask, uh, one day I just uh, go with my son, Khalil, to see the Jabberwockies, my friends, see the show, the Jabberwockies. And the Jabberwockies give the mask for my son. In a night, I stay with my son in the, in the, in the bed, in the bed. And then my son just uh, talked to me and say, Dad, why are you doing using the mask tomorrow? I say, go to sleep, stop talking. <laughs> and then my son, the, the another day, my son take the mask. And when I walking for the check the weight, my son touch me and give the mask. And I, I have the mask in my, my hands and I say, oh my God. Okay. And uh, my reflex is just putting the mask. Wow. You know? And that's the story about the mask. Wow. Are, are, are any of your kids going to be pro fighters? Yeah, Gabriel is training a lot right now. Is uh, my son is uh, have a uh, uh, amateur Muay Thai fight, kickboxing fight, and they're training a lot for uh, start MMA. Okay. And yeah, Gabriel is a. Uh, I think is a. Uh, is a uh, my, my my big challenge because. I try to pass everything for my son and I have a good talent and step by step go grow up in this sport and and uh, take your own story. Okay, uh, just a couple more things and then I'll let you go. I promise uh, the right. George fight. I know you had, you're hungry. I know I, I respect it. The George fight. Is that the one that you wish you had in the UFC? Is that the one fight that you wish you could have had? Well, when people ask me about George and Pierre, I just say, I respect George a lot because George is a is amazing fight is a, make the huge story inside the sport and um, I respect and uh, I love George because George changed a lot this sport you know uh, every single fight right now uh, Khabib uh, McGregor uh, Israel. In the, the new generation, uh, I need to think about how much George is important for this sport. Mm. You know, how much George changed this sport. Was it ever close with the Connor fight when him, you know, Connor was trying to get the UFC to book you versus him? Was that ever discussed, ever brought your attention? Was that ever a thing? Well, I think Connor is a, is a good fighter, is a, is a very lucky because. Connor is so smart, but Connor have uh, the weight for fight for different guys inside the UFC or outside, you know, boxing or uh, MMA, you know. And I respect because Connor is so smart in using the 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 talent the the Connor has for make the good and special deals for for himself, you know. And I respect this.
Okay. So, so in conclusion, uh, you return on Saturday, 45. What a story. Back fighting in Las Vegas in a small venue like you fought Chris Lieben. You remember that when you were dancing? It was amazing. What a moment it yes. was. And, and now you're back, but maybe the door is open. This, it, it, would it be unfair to call this a retirement fight? This is maybe the last one in UFC, but there's, there's a future out there potentially. Absolutely, you know, because uh, I believe in the, the situation is, uh, is a very, very important. Let me tell you something very important. Tell me. Because I think the fighters never talking about that. But uh, when you come inside UFC, you sign the contract, you completely okay about everything in the contract. You know, and when it this happened, what you can do, working and do your best, you know, and everything in the paper is because you sign. And I don't have nothing for talking about Dana. I don't have nothing for talking about UFC. I have my contract. I sign and I do my best. I work and I do my part because I'm professional. And of course, uh, Maybe I don't fight anymore in UFC. Of course, I go fight uh, outside. Why? Because the people can't stop my job. You know, that's no make sense. And this is not the last fight in UFC. Okay, but this is the last fight in UFC. Of course, I go fight in, in, in the other vein. Oh, I don't know. But right now is the, my last fight in UFC. Is there a so I thought you had two left, so you only have one left in UFC, you know? Um, yeah, in the contract, I have uh, two fights, you know. So, how could it be the last? What if they say you what if you knock out your eye hall in 10 seconds? They say we want you back for more. Um, uh, maybe I don't know. Let's go see, you know, because my focus right now is the one thing is okay. go inside the cage and do my best, you know. After that, I don't know. All right, we'll leave it at that. Anderson, thank you so much. What an honor. It's always such an honor to talk to you, my friend, and to uh, cover your career over the years. My friend, I need to say thank you. Thank you because uh, the people need you, the more people, the same you, and tell the truth because you know how much this sport is tough behind the scenes. And uh, I try to do my best every day and I never uh, scared for talk the, the, the truth because the truth is important for my fans and for my legacy. Amen. Thank you, Anderson. Thank you, my brother. On Saturday. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.